Hello everyone. Welcome to a new video in the series Ask Me Metallurgy. The question today is what is exchange current density and how to understand it. Exchange current density is usually observed when you have this Evans diagram and you have the electrode potential and the current over here is supposed to be the exchange current density. Now in this Evans diagram, this is the cathodic branch. Cathodic branch means if you have a particular metal and you have its ion, then the it will accept the electrons to form the complete atom. This is the anodic branch. In anodic branch, it means that you will have a complete atom and it will reject electrons to form the ion. The This point is the equilibrium position. The equilibrium position means that these two reactions will occur at the very same time and at the very same current density. This is the exchange current density. Now physically what it means is this. If you have an electrolyte and you put a certain metal in this, the metal it uh, will have a certain tendency to accept or reject electrons. If you have seen my previous video on the potential, you will see the importance of the or the uh, uh, meaning of potential in that video. So when you have such uh, metal inside a particular electrolyte, depending on its Gibbs free energy and tendency, it will reject electrons and uh, form an ion. It will reject electrons from here and form an ion. From here again, it can form an ion. Now, this change has led to a certain current and this particular uh, reaction is given by the anodic branch. Now, in uh, some of these atoms, ions will go back and accept electrons. So they will go back and form M again and they will go uh, deposit on the substrate. So basically they will be integrated on the with the original uh, uh, original metal. So that is the cathodic branch. Now over a period of time uh, uh, when you give certain time for stabilization, this particular exchange of electrons will happen simultaneously on the system. That's why uh, both of these reactions will occur simultaneously and the current or the uh, current at which it occurs is this exchange current density. Now, let us take an example of say magnesium. As we know magnesium is a very active metal. A very active metal means that it, ha it will in presence of oxygen, it will, if this, for example, if this water has oxygen, then the oxygen will pro, pro, uh, will ask magnesium to give electrons. So magnesium will give electrons and will go into the solution as Mg+. Similarly, uh, if uh, similarly, if you reduce the amount of oxygen, then the Mg+ that goes outside will again come back inside. So this change setup is the magnesium potential. But because magnesium is very active metal, the rate at which it happens, the current density at which happens will be higher. Means that it will go into the solution very fast and come back very fast. If you have a material such as titanium, titanium basically will interact with oxygen that is will form the anodes interact and form an oxide film but once it forms an oxide film the exchange current density will be very low because now the uh, oxide film is protecting that particular titanium from dissolving so the anodic branch in case of titanium is eliminated and that's why the exchange current density here will be very low which means that the uh, re uh, reactions or the uh, going back and coming back is going to be very low so that is the exchange current density i hope i have try i explained it as uh, in the best way possible please let me know if you have any more doubts thank you